Hey and welcome back to another video. Unless you already know, I have been renovating this house for one and a half year soon and I'm now pretty close to having a finished bathroom. I make as much as I can from salvaged stuff and reused material. In my last episode I picked up some old shelves that I will build a washstand from. It's the first piece of furniture I've ever tried to build, and in this video you get to see the progress. Here I'm starting to sand down some of the sides of the stand, removing the varnish to get the natural look back. I'm trying to figure out where to put these uh, spotlights in um, the ceiling of the toilet. As with any decisions, I find it difficult. Uh, so I've made a little mold, or like, not even a mold, it's just circles that I can put up into the ceiling to see uh, what it looks like the way that I have imagined. These were like a discontinued series, so I got them for super cheap. They were 50 kroners each, which I thought was a proper find. And then what is on with that? Nay. And <laughs> no. Now I saw that they are a bit different from one another. So that kind of sucked. I mean, it's minor, but. Uh, I think this makes sense. All the silly decisions. All the silly decisions. Oh my god.
Let's just say it's been a bit demotivating with the slowness of building a bathroom. I've been craving being outside, so I've been taking breaks to get some work done on the slope down to the creek. It's quite hard to get down there, so I want to make a proper path, using all of the branches and twigs and whatnot that is laying around. There's so much garbage down there, it's kind of sad. There is like more or less an entire bicycle. Uh, yeah. It's just a, I don't know what it's called. A bottle, plastic. It's also something. It almost looks like a bathtub, but I don't think it is. It's too small. Maybe it's like, I don't know, fire tray or something? It looks like it's in metal. One day, maybe I'll dig it out. The creek is really flooded again. Uh, we actually had some snow yesterday, it's been quite cold and uh, obviously the snow didn't stick so... It's uh, really cold tonight and I noticed that there is a lot of cold air coming down from the ventilation so I'm gonna put up the old ventilation cap that can be screwed like this. I'm quite happy to have saved it because I think most of these are just made in plastic these days and this one is in metal. So uh, yeah, happy to put it back up. Now that I'm closing it, it actually feels a lot better. It does feel though like, I mean obviously this is for air to come up, not in, but um, maybe it's different once you're having a hot shower and the hot air wants to go up. We'll see. It's 
such an amazing morning. I'm gonna be outside, but I'm also too excited to start painting, so that's what I'm gonna do. And uh, trying to get into the shed. Yeah, the door doesn't want to open. I think it's frozen in its position. I thought just have to wait with that. Um, Well, well. Just gonna paint the first layer and then be outside for a bit. I gotta say I'm a little bit like unimpressed by this brand because uh, they only have this like foundation layer glue stuff whatever in a jar of two point something liters and now I'm gonna have to like throw away probably the rest of it I've used about this much sometimes I try and sell the leftovers on marketplace but I mean chances are that people aren't gonna pick it up because it's just like yeah this one was like a thousand kroners. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it just feels ridiculous to not have used all of it, both in terms of like money spent and resources. Really annoying. Um, they should have had like a one liter thingy, I think. But now on to the next one, which is going to be the color, which is much more exciting. It was very unsatisfying to paint with the other one because, yeah. It just you just can tell that I done anything, but now I'm really excited. tried this a couple of times now and uh, I'll say it really works 
um, using chestnuts as soap nuts. Um, yeah, I just leave it the dried ones in the fridge for about uh, two, three hours. Then it becomes like really soapy. And then, uh, yeah, I just put it into the wash, which is currently just a big pot. Enough of the washing, now I'm gonna do the second layer in the bathroom. Ta -da! Bit annoying uh, because this one just kind of wants to pop out in one end. Uh, so I don't know. I'm just gonna add more glue and hope that it sticks. That's the solution. I mean, now it's obviously not uh, standing straight, but it's the principle. And then my tiny little mistakes will be hidden by this. I couldn't help but to put it into the bathroom just to see kind of what it's gonna look like. And uh, yeah, here it is.
So I'm continuing to work on the washstand and uh, I began this yesterday inside <laughs> and uh, well it got really smoky, there was sawdust everywhere so uh, I just decided I would pause it and continue to do it outside today. How cute is that? We just realized we hadn't put this in at the bottom and now it uh, doesn't fit so we're just gonna unscrew it again and put it in. It feels like I'm getting really close. It's really fun to put it together like this and just see kind of what it's gonna be like. I still have some things I need to think about and that is like uh, making this drawer that it's gonna come in here. And unfortunately it didn't fit that well together or rather it was not that easy to attach this shelf at the bottom that I um, had anticipated. So I need to think of a solution there. Uh, so uh, this one stuck. That one didn't quite make it. Uh, that one is okay. I think that one is fine. Yeah, well actually maybe it's only this one. I'm thinking about putting in like a thicker little thing here so there's more to screw into to like squeeze these together and hold the shelf in place. Other than that, I guess it's like installing the rest of the water pipes, properly installing the toilet, and then, yeah, it's done. So yeah, it feels like I'm getting really close. Um, hopefully it's all done in the next episode. See you then.